Hey guys, Shell here at Shadows Grove. Good morning. Um, I just wanted to show you what I was up to this morning. As I've mentioned in the past, I have a severe, severe slug problem on our property. So, since they're causing such substantial damage, I decided to try some beer traps. So, let me show you about that. This is one of four containers that I filled with beer. Um, had my husband get a big case and I used all 24 cans last night and as you can see quite a few decided to partake in the party this is nowhere near oh there's one that's still moving in there he must have just went in there but uh this is nowhere near <laughs> A big enough dent in my problem um, but maybe if I leave the traps out for a while every day um, because they only come out at night and morning maybe I can cut down some I don't know what I'm gonna do there's a uh, this guy here he's he's awfully big hanging out nearby it my goodness these guys are quite big. I can't, he, they can make themselves really small when they feel in danger, so that's what he's done there. He just kind of balled himself up. But uh, let's go check the other traps and see if they have anything in there. The nests out here are all along under the crevice to the shop, underneath the gravel and then there's also that whole sidewalk area there between the gravel and the railroad tie that's where they all come out at night and that's where they all head to in the morning so usually you'll see this whole area littered with them so i put one out there where i knew there was an infestation and then the other one i put over here on the other side of the house. Pardon my walking so slow. I put this one over here because uh, there's a fairly large amount of traffic from under this porch to this flower bed over here and into the grass and sometimes this uh, flower bed section, but not so much. Usually they go for my potted plant. So let's see what this one looks like. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's see. Lots of froth. That's why I brought the strainer. The froth is from the beer, not necessarily the slugs. The slugs, though, they get real slimy. And I do have to tell you that the consistency of the beer after it's got slugs in it, very much so becomes like a dog drool, but thicker. It's very gross. All right, so there's that one. We'll go check on the third one. The third one is under the base of my deck over here. <clears throat> See what I tell you, it looks like Somebody had a, a bender last night. All right, let's see. This is the main area that we see the most slugs come out of. They come from under there. But there's not all that many slugs in here. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only nine. We only caught nine in there, which is disappointing I mean it's it's nine more than I would have caught beforehand but let's see if we can turn the light on look in there oh it doesn't do much good but that's where all the slugs like to live all right and then the final trap there used to be a huge nest of them under the 
rocks of the fire pit there, but they moved. And they nest over here under the garden and the flower bed. Oof, which is very frustrating because, oh gosh, look at this guy. He's huge. It's frustrating because it's, it's a hard place to get to them since the garden has a liner. All right, let's see if I can get this foam out without slugs. Look at that. Ugh. That's so nasty. It's like a great big booger. That's so gross. I can't stand slimy stuff. Anybody who knows me, even, you know, I love animals. But when I worked at the, in all the shelter work, I would do anything to avoid the uh, dog drool. If you had a parvo case, if you had screaming diarrhea, worst case of worms, doesn't matter. I'll go clean that all day long. But the drool, it could not be done. All right, so look at this. There is a ton in here, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's well over 25. There's no way I can count them all in there. They're moving too much. But holy moly, Batman. Again, there's there's no way I'm going to trap all of them. And this has not created much of a dent. But it's a good start. Um, this is actually pretty good for night one. And hopefully we can keep some of our baby safe. I know that it looks barren in there. We just took all the peas down and we replanted some more. They were ready to harvest. But we've got a big problem with these slugs. They're causing some serious damage and um, and not much I can do <laughs> other than silly tricks like this. But hey, look, it is working. What is that about? That's amazing. Wowzer. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe to our channel and our videos. And as always, thank you so much for your support and awen.